This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Hello again, I'm Frank and this is Around Kansas, the show that talks about people, places, and things that make Kansas a great place to live, work, play, and visit. And of course, I'm here in uh, Topeka, Kansas, in the WREN radio studio, and my co-host, Deb Goodrich, is out in, well, western Kansas, okay? Uh, anyway, she's going to, this is D-Day, June 6th, and of course, D-Day was a, a, an incredible, incredible day, and we still have to salute those that went and did a job. I mean, remember this now, when they hit the beach at Normandy on June 6, 1944, a lot of them were teenagers. That's right. They were 18, 19, 20 years old, um, and they did what they had to do. Anyway, uh, so we salute them on this D-Day in, in 2018. So anyway. Let's also talk about some great things that are happening in the uh, month of June here in Kansas. Uh, well, before we get to that, there are other commemorative days. Uh, June 14th, by the way, is Flag Day, and that commemorates the adoption of the flag of the United States. It happened on June 14th, 1777. Of course, June 17th is Father's Day, hint, hint. <laughs> And uh, believe it or not, that only came into being in 1966. Lyndon Baines Johnson signed a declaration that the third Sunday in June would be Father's Day. Thank you, LBJ. And of course, summer begins on June 21st. Um, that's a great thing, isn't it? Except <laughs> uh, the next day the sun starts heading back south, and then we're, okay, I know, the glass is half full. So. Also, there are a lot of great things going on around the state of Kansas here in the summertime, really. And one of them that is in June, and I used to go to this because we had a cabin over at the uh, City Lake uh, at Council Grove and just loved it over there. And they have a, a celebration called Washunga Days, okay? And it is June 15th through 17th this year. Um, and it's all along the Neosho Riverwalk Park. Now, when we were over there with our cabin, they were just beginning to really develop that. And now it really is a fantastic thing. Uh, so anyway, it's all kind of spread out down the river walk next to the Neosho there. And there's going to be a live entertainment, Josh Abbott Band on Friday at 10 p.m., uh, John Wolf Saturday at 10 p.m. Uh, so there are food vendors, a car show, kids' activities, fireworks, uh, Kong Nation, Intertribal Powwow, and a whole lot more. It's a fun, fun time. And of course, there are two lakes over there. There's a state lake um, that is a very large lake, and then there's a city lake, which is really a quaint little place with a lot of cabins around it and all that. Anyway, so there's the commercial for Washunga Days at Council Grove this year. There are a lot of other things going on. And also, uh, Deb, of course, in Western Kansas, we talked about it being D-Day today, and she has some fantastic stories about D-Day. And you may know, uh, of course, being from Kansas, Dwight Eisenhower was the supreme commander of that, being from Kansas, and then he became the 34th president of the United States. And just in recent years, it came to light that he wrote a letter before the invasion started on June 6th, and that was that he blamed himself for the failure of D-Day. Of course, that didn't happen, and anyway, the rest is history. All right, so anyway, we have some great stories today from Deb, and we'll take a look at them after you see this. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. Hey, 